general 3D rotation. So let us discuss this one and what are the different steps to be followed in which order we shall discuss them and also we shall show them in one proper diagram. So let us start with the steps. So step 1, translate the object so that the rotation axis passes through the coordinate origin. So let me explain this one with the diagram. So here you see there is one line is there. So this P1 and P2 there is one line and across this line one object is supposed to get rotated. So what was the step 1? The step 1 is that we are supposed to bring this point that is here is this P1. So which will coincide with the origin of this Cartesian coordinate. So let me repeat the same. So translate the object so that the rotation axis passes through the coordinate origin. So that is why this rotation axis is now passing through the coordinate origin. So here we require one translation. Rotate the object so that the axis of rotation coincides with one of the coordinate axis. So now what we shall do, this is the, this is the reference line. So this particular reference line or this line against which we are supposed to do the rotation. Here we are giving a, giving a rotation to that so that it matches with the z axis. It is not mandatory that it should be matching with the z axis only. It can match with any one of the axis. So step 1 was translate P1 to the origin we discussed earlier and step 2 is rotate P2 dash onto the z axis. So P2 dash has been rotated onto the z axis and the point has become P2 dash dash. Step 3, perform the specified rotation about that coordinate axis. So here the coordinate axis is our z axis. So now step 3, rotate the object around the z axis. So as we planned accordingly the rotation will take place. So now let us go for the step number 4. Rotate the object so that the rotation axis is brought back to its original orientation. So now again that axis will be brought back to the original orientation. So step 4, rotate the axis to the original orientation. So now we are bringing this axis to the original orientation. So here also we require one rotation. Translate the object so that the rotation axis is brought back to its original position. So here we started with this P1 and this particular P1 dash, we have had this P1 dash here. So now this P1 dash will be translated to this P1 position. So translate the rotation axis to the original position. Now here the rotated object will be, will be having the respective translations, the object coordinates will have the respective translations and that is the resultant translation that means the general 3D rotation coordinates will be obtained. So how many steps did you follow? We followed 5 steps are there. You can pause this video here, you can read this respective steps and you can com compare with this diagram. So in this way we have discussed the general 3D rotations. Thank you for watching this video.